war. Responsibility. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus, also known as the Digit Digit G, G, G virus, and we are back at it again with more Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Knife only with no practice, none at all, zero practice. We don't know what the fuck we're doing when it comes to that knife. Everything else we're good though. We know what we're doing with everything else, just not that fucking knife. You know what? What the hell am I Oh yeah, okay. I just met Chief Irons. I forgot where I left off at. I'm like, I was like, where the hell am I going? Am I supposed to? I, for a second, I was like, I gotta remember to, sh to to seal up those shutters with that power cord. It's very important that we do that shit for Leon's sake, and the fact that Leon will be wielding this knife as well. I don't know how I'm gonna do that shit, man. That final, final boss fight in the B scenario on that train. Oh, I was like, I don't remember this music. Oh, you're still here, man? Did the music change up? Or is this the same music that I was playing before? I'd really like to be alone. No, it's the same. I didn't recognize the music at first. I'd really like to be alone now. I'd really like to be alone so I could fap all over this dead body, if you don't mind. You don't mind? I want to fap all over her dead, rotting corpse. Cause she's alive no longer. He's got some pretty cool art though. Some of it is a little grisly, but some nice art though. Some pretty cool art though. And another cutscene coming. What was that? What was that? Oh, it's very dark in here. Can't, must not be anybody in here. I can just wield my knife. <clears throat> Stab all in the dark right here. There's nobody here, right? Let's just fucking swing this knife all crazy. Cause there's nobody here, right? <clears throat> there's nobody fucking here, right? This is an empty ass room, so I'm hitting nothing. I'm 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 hitting wall. I'm not I'm not hitting anyone here. At least I don't know. At least I hope I'm not. <laughs> Found the lights and sherry is full of holes. Dead and full of holes. Wait. She no, has a right no. to run. I was just swinging easy, my knife easy, around like a mad I'm woman. A zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. In Resident Evil Revelations 2, which features Claire. It's the third time we get to see Claire in the well. Not even a third, because that's not even a main a main game, but maybe fourth? I think she's in Umbrella Chronicles. I don't know. I've never played that monstrosity. Maybe I shouldn't call it a monstrosity. I'm just going off of what people said. But um What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. Actually strangely I enjoyed Revelations too. I thought the story was ridiculous and the enemies were stupid, but it had some real chilling moments, especially with Barry when you're in the forest. I really dug that, and Moira, Barry's daughter, who was in it. I felt she was pretty entertaining. It was pretty fun. Pretty fun game. There was no headshots in it. It gets a major ding from me because of that. Lack of headshots. The fuck were they thinking? It's, when I say headshots, I mean decapitations with your weapon blowing their heads up, which is a fucking staple of Resident Evil. It's in the very first one, you know, and it's a staple of zombie shit. It's having to blow their zombies' heads up, and it's not in there. Granted, I don't think they're zombies, but even in RE4 and 5, you could do that shit. You could blow their heads up, and they weren't zombies. It's a staple of Resident Evil. Anytime a game like Cold Veronica. Or Revelations 2 does not have that. I'm sorely pissed off, but I digress. In Resident Evil 2, they would have you 
it seems as if Claire is a good guardian. She? You know, Claire comes off as a good, like she's good with kids, you know. Thanks, Chief, for leaving this key behind for me. Like, you know, you don't you don't want me to find out what's going on, yet you're leaving these fucking keys around and shit for me to further my investigation. But like, I'm, what the fuck am I trying to say? Claire comes off like she's good with kids in Resident Evil 2, but in Revelations 2, they make her come off like she's not good with kids. Like, Moira has to do the talking to the little girl, the main character, as a protagonist in Revelations 2, that's a little girl. And Claire is just bad with her, and just doesn't know what to say, and, and she just seems like not warm and loving like she is in 2. She's great with Sherry, but for whatever reason, they make it seem like in Revelations 2, Claire is bad with kids. Alright, so what are we doing next? It is late. This is still all one big set. From when I started this, the first episode, this is all, this, this, these four videos have all been in one sitting. I'm fucking tired. I want to do more, man, but, ugh. I don't think I can. I'm tired. My commentary's gonna suffer for it. So I should definitely go down and put these shutters on for Leon. And then after that, I can pursue the parking lot areas or the extra areas that are outside of here. I'm fucking sleepy. Damn it. But let me go and drop this off. I'm just wasting time. I should probably just wait and drop this off once I have the last piece that I need. But I won't get that piece for a while. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I definitely feel like there's more cutscene, more yapping with Leon, because Leon meets Ada, and then Leon meets Ben, and then he's chopping up with Ben. They seem like they have just a longer dialogue. It's just, it's just three people chatting. Like I've said before, Claire's scenario seems a bit more lonely. That's why I hope in Remake they add more shit with... I, ho I, ho I hope they just have Leon and Claire's paths cross more, and they do the, that whole zapping system thing, where what you do in, your, in the first scenario affects the second scenario big time. Maybe they could even do a third scenario, like what you do in the first scenario and what you do in the second scenario affects the third scenario. The third scenario could be, I don't know, Ada getting out of here or something, because we all know Ada survives the events that that play out in this game, where it seems as if she dies. But, she doesn't, because she's an RE4, 6, and all type of- Damn it! I have not been playing enough RE in my life lately. I need to just go back. I'm glad they re-released 4, 5, and 6, because I know a lot of people aren't happy about that. Well, I'm happy about that, because I believe they're 60 frames per second. Anybody that knows for sure, please let me know. Well, if they are 60 frames per second, that's fine with me. That's enough reason to buy them. Even if the graphics aren't improved that much, the fact that they're moving at a better frame rate equals better gameplay. And uh, it's a good reason for me to buy, and when I do do 4, 5, and 6, they will be the PS4 versions with 60 frames per second. So, um, I definitely gotta just sit back and just play RE, man. It's just <sighs> see, my current gaming situation is that I'm very backlogged, and there's still PlayStation 3 games sitting on my shelf, sealed up, that I'm making my way through. Because I got into the 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 last generation of consoles, I got into that shit late, which is actually good because. <sighs> <laughs> you had to be quick there. <laughs> Which is actually good because I was able to get all these games that I never fucking played. Oh! <clears throat> For cheap! And I was introduced to the HD generation of games. I got them all for cheap because they had been out 
they were old news and I got a bunch of games. That was back when I was collecting, I collected a bunch of PS3 games. And I still have a lot of them left. Then when the PlayStation 4 came out, I was like, alright, I have to get that and play just key games. And, and for the PlayStation 4, games that I really, really have to play. I really, really want to, like MK, Mortal Kombat, X, um, of course, the newly released Uncharted 4, uh, Revelations 2, games that I just have to play now and I can't wait on. But at the same time, I'm still going to go back and play my, my huge backlog of PS3 games. For God's sakes, huge! And right now, I don't have any PS4 games that I want to play or that I feel like I can't wait on. So I'm letting my PS4 collection build. Like, I'm still buying games for the PlayStation 4. But I'm just not playing them. Where the fuck am I going? I need to go through that door with, that has the heart etched under it. Yeah, I think I'm good. But, so, I'm just gonna make my way through the rest of my PlayStation 3 library and let my PlayStation 4 library kind of increase. Then I'll have a huge backlog of PS4 games to play. And also, I'll be waiting for the games to drop in price. So right now, games like Until Dawn, I recently bought Evil Within for like 20, 15 bucks, because I didn't buy that straight away. I bought that, haven't played that, and that's just sitting on my shelf. Um, what else did I get? Infamous Second Son, what the fuck else? Can't remember. But there's a whole bunch of, I'm trying to build up my PS4 collection right now. So I'll have a whole bunch of games to play. Once I'm done with my PS3, which whenever that fucking happens, I still enjoy the PS3 games too. They're, they're fucking awesome still. Graphically, they still look good. I don't remember what to do here. I think I'm supposed to go left or right. I think I'm supposed to go right. No. <clears throat> I'm supposed to go here first and restore power. But first and more importantly, I need to grab this herb right here. Smoke something, Claire. Smoke something. Look at that. We, we're doing all right. You know, there was a second there I was getting worried. Like it was, I was like, this is turning out to be kind of stressful. But man, I just know this game so well that it doesn't even fucking matter. Now, I had a really hard time doing Cold Veronica, man. You guys saw that shit. No. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> but I, I had a hard time with Cold Veronica. And right now I'm having a way easier time with RE2, but like I said in previous videos, I already know it's gonna, all of a sudden, it's gonna turn into, like, hell. It's gonna turn into some sick, freak, sideshow, horror moment where I can't get past the enemy at all, and I'm just getting fucked up. Ah! That scared the shit out of me. First of all, I ran the wrong way. I didn't want to run this way. So let me go ahead and heal myself and head back. Didn't want to go this way. But we ran into some rough patches with Cold Veronica. I, I beg you to watch the Cold Veronica playthrough, guys. If you want more unrehearsed knife runs, if you want a grueling one, definitely check out. <gasps> Fuck you! Oh! I just healed myself, too. Oh my god! I'm having the worst luck getting around these fucking dogs right now. Shit. Yeah, they're gonna hop down. It gives me time to get the fuck out of here. I'll be long gone by the time they even touch the floor. There'll be a problem when I come back, but right now I'm good. It's time to meet up with Sherry again. Good God, but yeah, if you guys want to play through a, 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 a more stressful, horrifying playthrough, a sadistic playthrough, check out my Cold Veronica one. I actually did that pretty recent, a few months ago. Oh, hi there. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. You little twerp. So worried. Scaring me like that. 
We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. Oh, no. Allison Court. Such a beautiful voice. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. You know, with the dramatic turn that the Resident Evil series is taking with Wait, RE7. Sherry, don't go alone. Sherry, Sherry. I'm a bit concerned that they're not going to revisit characters that they uh, have reintroduced in RE6 and new characters that they came up with, <coughs> like Jake in the new character, I mean, in the character that they reintroduced, Sherry, an older Sherry with huge breasts. <coughs> An amazing figure in huge breast. Yeah. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> fuck you, man. Right into the dog. That was horse shit. <sighs> but it looks like they're just abandoning everything that makes Resident Evil Resident Evil. The gameplay and shit. Hopefully they don't abandon the story as well. I'll be pissed off. I want to see Sherry again. Maybe even some Billy and... I didn't really like... Yeah, well, we won't talk about RE6 right now. We'll stay focused on RE2. Because when RE6 comes around... Oh, I'm going to have a lot to say. But I will say this though. I didn't hate it as much as everyone else did. I, I'd still take that shit over Cold Veronica, which is crazy, I know, because you guys, you know, Cold Veronica's classic RE gameplay, and that's what everybody loves, but I just, I do not like Cold Veronica. Just don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, she didn't slip. Is she gonna slip? It's gotta be random when she slipped. Oh, there it is. She slipped. <laughs> Uh, she runs slow, she slips when she tries to get up on top of shit. This is a far cry from the Sherry that we get in RE6. She's fucking flipping around and doing melee attacks and shit like that. This is before her special training, I guess. I gotta play RE6 again, man. Fuck! Let's, let's, let's try to get out here and not get bitten by the dogs, alright? I forgot Sherry ran super slow. Well, we don't need to go into that other area that's over there. Whew! Because it's just bullets to get. And this is a knife run only, so... Ooh, that dog was all up Sherry's butt. <coughs> just after us. I hope they make another Revelations game. Revelations 3 would be cool. There? Instead of making shit, shit like Umbrella Sherry, Corps, Umbrella okay? Corpse, whatever the fuck Did it's called. Dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. the ventilation hole anymore but don't worry i'll find another way i can take care of myself wait sherry come back sherry sherry hmm wonder what jake's punk ass is doing right about now same age as sherry i believe He's probably out wondering who his father is. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I'm fucking tired. I have to cut this shit. Uh, I wanted to do more episodes today. <sighs> but that looks like that's not gonna happen. I'm fucking exhausted. 
Let's playing actually is very tiring, believe it or not. You might be thinking, oh man, no way that's tiring. Yeah, it's, it's fucking tiring. It gets me fucking tired. But I push on, because it's still fun and enjoyable. I, as all hell, I love doing this shit. But, I digress again. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you liked the video, feel free to like it. If you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it. If you want more, you should subscribe so you can get more whenever I upload it, it'll tell you. So you can get as much as you want and get your fill. There are several other playthroughs right now in rotation. The most I've ever had in rotation in my life on this channel. Plenty of stuff for you guys to feast on. I believe when I upload this, there will be another Resident Evil playthrough in rotation as well. So there's another Resident Evil playthrough that should be going on right now. So absolutely subscribe or go to my channel to see what that is. And I thank you guys for watching. Now, this is the game virus. See you guys next time. Later.